Give it up for your host of the 28th Annual Webby Awards. From Late Night with Seth Meyers and The Amber Ruffin Show, it's Amber Ruffin. <laughs> on the Amber Ruffin Show on Peacock, and you may know Peacock from the free trial you forgot to cancel in 2021. <laughs> still, I'm still getting your money. I write for Broadway shows like The Wiz, which is currently playing down the street. And I work at Late Night with Seth Meyers, where I write jokes, or as the internet calls them, content. We are so glad to see you here tonight at the Webby Awards. Yay! Yeah, congratulations, you guys. This is the biggest night for the internet since Kendrick Lamar dropped his last diss track. Like you've stopped listening to it, you haven't. Tonight we'll be honoring the best in websites, apps, podcasts, games, videos, and branded entertainment. Basically, we are honoring all the best ways to procrastinate at work. Now, if you're in the room tonight, that means you already won. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, my mom. That's right. It's like a game of Monopoly, and you all have a hotel on Park Place. Congrats. The internet has changed a lot this year, and it makes me wonder what we'll be talking about this time next year. Will we have a president, Mr. Beast? Will we all be wearing AI pins? Will a hitherto unknown third Kelsey brother emerge to dominate the entire media landscape? We simply cannot say. Now, at this point, the only thing we know for sure is that we will all definitely have bird flu. It's back and it's coming. Yeah, get scared. The internet has changed a lot in the last few years, which is good, I think, I hope. For all the good it can do, the internet could also destroy us, the same way it destroyed newspapers, Blockbuster and Miranda Sings. Tonight's theme is One Giant Leap, and it's appropriate because there was a giant leap across the internet this year. A leap in diversity of voices, gender, sexuality, and race, especially in podcasts. Yeah, you can clap. Clap for diversity, it benefits me. Now, all that diversity is great because for a few years, the only thing you were allowed to make a podcast about were cold cases involving white women. <laughs> also, AI technology has taken a huge leap this year and continues to completely reshape our world. So let's give AI a hand, a weird, misshapen, seven-fingered hand. <laughs> it's been a year of big leaps, and no one took a bigger leap than anyone who flew on a Boeing jet. Boeing lost a door and a slide. At this point, their seatback safety manual should just be a post-it note that says, hang on. <laughs> the Webby Awards is the internet's highest honor, while the internet's second highest honor is a DM without a picture of a dick in it. <laughs> Still waiting on that. The Webby's <laughs> received 13,000 entries this year, and that was all from just one bot. There are several new categories tonight honoring AI, and this is crazy, those categories added themselves. <laughs> this year, all of the winners have something in common. They each helped push the internet into new realms of creativity, diversity, and culture. Also, they each paid $275 for a cameo from George Santos. Admit it, <laughs> we all did it. Just kidding, I would never do that. The WNBA's mobile app is a winner tonight for best visual design. Yeah, that's amazing. Good for the WNBA. They should consider letting men play basketball too. Oh, they do? Oh, good for them, that's cute. It was an extremely competitive year for podcast submissions. It seems like everyone and their sister has a podcast, which reminds me, me and my sister have a podcast. It's called The Amber and Lacey, Lacey and Amber Show. That's real, you gotta check it out, cute to shit. There were so many incredible podcasts this year. They made us laugh, they made us cry. They, want, they made us wonder if we had ever accidentally wronged Cat Williams. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. 
that's the end of that fucking joke. <laughs> Tonight, we'll be maintaining a long-standing Webby's tradition. Your speeches can only be five words long, okay? So make sure you think very hard about the words you use to prompt chat, B chat GPT to write it for you. <laughs> prompt it better than I said it. You could also, if you want, you could also just write your five word speech yourself. You could go with anything from thank you, I am honored to man or bear, obviously bear. <laughs> and hey, we have Kara Swisher receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award tonight. Yeah. So throughout the show, we are going to show you some videos of her friends telling her congratulations. Now, they're all very famous and very rich. Seriously, Kara, do you know any broke people? <laughs> I could introduce you to some. Let me know if you would like that. Hi, I'm Amber Ruffin. Uh, tonight, <laughs> tonight, we are here to have a good time, to honor people who have changed the way we view the world, and to drink a little too much. I've already started. Now, I am beyond thrilled to hand out the very first award of the evening, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure that our winner is just one person. I think she might have a secret twin or something. It's the only explanation for how she does so much so well. She's an Emmy-winning host, singer, actor, entrepreneur, author, digital creator, the list goes on. I'm talking about Kiki Palmer. I know I love her too. Most of her life, Kiki has been a unique and influential presence in the entertainment industry and on the internet. Her career has redefined the landscape for young black entrepreneurs and creatives. From her early breakthrough in Aquila and the Bee to her compelling performance in Nope, Kiki's career has been a showcase of boundless creativity and artistic vision. Her recent achievements, including her Emmy win as the co-host of Password and her album Big Boss, demonstrate her unbelievable versatility. But her greatest accomplishment is being my best friend. What's that? We have never hung out. <laughs> she would rather not? That's fair. Kiki's podcast, Baby, This is Kiki Palmer, combines personal narratives, cultural com commentary, and interviews. Furthermore, the founding of Key TV, her digital television network, highlights her dedication to empowering the next generation of creators, particularly within the black community. This is Kiki. You always had that gift and that personality and that spirit. No doubt, I'm the baddie that you're talking about. You do this so beautifully, which is to remind people they're not alone. You ain't that. Sorry to this man. <laughs> the maternal health crisis. Yeah. How do we break it down? Is this, you know, the disparity in the communities? Is this uh, people don't believe black women? What if I told you there is more than one way to make it? That we need more production designers, more sound mixers, more key grips, and more DPs. What if I told you we just need more you? Baby, you this is Kiki Palmer. blend of artistry and digital innovation, her talent in engaging audiences, and her commitment to advocating for black communities, I'm very excited to recognize Kiki Palmer with a 2024 Webby Special Achievement Award. I'm blessed to do this. Please welcome to the Webby stage, 
the Deputy Director for Transgender Justice at the ACLU, attorney and activist, Chase Strangio. Laverne Cox somehow manages to do it all. She has long been known for her award-winning acting, hilarious and on-point hosting, and her flawless red carpet style. Now, with her beloved podcast, The Laverne Cox Show, she's bringing her transformative essence to this new medium. Through the lens of Laverne's brilliance and critical sensibilities, the podcast offers deep exploration of topics like criminal legal system reform, anti-trans legislation, and understanding fashion as art. And the podcast is quintessentially Laverne because no one else could cover the breadth of topics with such humor, curiosity, and grace. Laverne also shares intimate My Diary episodes, offering radically honest portraits of her relationship with her body, her voice, and her experiences in the world. From her breakthrough role on Netflix's Orange is the New Black to her unrelenting commitment to advocacy, Laverne never fails to inspire and entertain. She is an amazing friend, a brilliant leader, and a true icon. I feel I am here to change the ways in which people see and think about trans people. Our visibility is more profound and heightened than it's ever been. My prayer before this podcast today and my prayer before I work is always, God, give me permission to do this imperfectly and allow me to be of service. In my experience, guys stand trans girls up a lot, so I would not leave my house until they were there. Text me when you arrive. Be like, oh, I'm here. Where are you? I'm two minutes away. And I was, but I hadn't left my house yet. I often watch the news and just feel defeated. I don't want us to leave here today with that feeling. I want to come away feeling fucking empowered. It is my absolute honor and privilege to present Laverne Cox with the Webby Award for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion in Podcasts for The Laverne Cox Show. Healing collective trauma, necessary, possible. Kara Swisher won that award, and you're supposed to give some words that describe her. Oh, yes, I think um, Kara Swisher, confident, that's the word. Oh, uh, no, wait, actually, they need five words, five. Gay, 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 gay. Better than Biden in AV. Always keeps it real. Fearless and actually surprisingly sweet. Oh, um, super confident. <laughs> okay, what else? Brave, curious, journalist, broad, Trailblazer and brilliant. Freakishly confident. Oh, I, I got a couple more in you. Wicked, smart, and funny. A lesbian who hates softballs. <laughs> Genius. Just ask her. Tenacious, accurate, and a total pain. Oh, this is hard. Obstreperous. What does that mean? Oh, don't worry, she'll know. <laughs> Kara, we love you. Congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. Have fun. Give it up for our next presenter from Late Night with Seth Meyers. 
it's comedian and actress Jenny Hagel. to be handing out a bunch of Webbies back to back right now, and I don't think I should waste any time. And I bet our first winner will agree. It's the Moms Don't Have Time to Read Books podcast from Zibby Media. Accepting the People's Voice Award for Interview Talk Show podcast is host Zibby Owens. Stories are best when shared. <laughs> Guys, do you want to watch adult humans argue about food? Do you want to watch adult humans eat weird food? Do you want to watch adult humans spend $515 at an Outback Steakhouse? Well, this next winner is making your dreams come true. Please welcome the People's Voice winner for food and drink in video series and channels, Mythical Kitchen. Accepting is host of Mythical Kitchen, Josh Shearer. <clears throat> Don't put Twinkies on pizza. Our next winner is taking home the Webby Award for Best Live Podcast Recording for the hilarious episode of So Money with Farnoosh Tarabi, featuring Michelle Buteau. They deserve a second award for making a podcast about financial advice that didn't make us all fall asleep. Give it up for So Money host Farnoosh Tarabi and actress and comedian Michelle Buteau. Protect, Protect kids. kids. Not guns, bitches. It's predicted that by the end of the century, 90% of the world's languages will have disappeared. The team at McCann, New York, partnered with Adlam, a project founded to save West African language, Pular, from this fate. For their work with Adlam, McCann New York is taking home the Webby Award for Corporate Social Responsibility Campaign. Let's hear it for Global ECD Pete Johnson, Executive Account Director Socrates Papazoglu, and Design Director Mook Pongboot. Our next winner is the reigning Lumpia Queen, and frankly, that's the only monarch I recognize. If she declared war on Dairy Queen, I would enlist. We bow to the People's Voice winner for food and drink in social. From Chroma Entertainment, it's Abby Marquez. Come on out, Your Majesty. <laughs> Next up is the Webby Award for Best Social Content Series. For Alexis Batar, Margot and Jules, we have founder Alexis Batar and star of the iconic social series, Margot and Jules, Patricia Black. Webbies, give me my juice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> You guys, I think all achievements are special, but this next one is a truly special event. A TSA, if you will. Oh, uh, no, that's taken. Uh, this is a fully brave innovation, an FBI. Nope. An outstanding but generous young newcomer. An OBGYN. Nope. <laughs> no, uh, I'm gonna keep working on that. But in the meantime, give it up for debt. Accepting the award for Webby Agency of the Year are creative developer Virgil Spruitt and senior producer Kristen Hurtko. Work hard. Win hearts. Repeat. repeat.
Guys, the world is complicated, but you know what's easy? Loving PBS. Right. They've got Elmo. They've got Big Bird. They've got this whole will they, won't they thing with Bert and Ernie. It's this generation's Ross and Rachel. Accepting the award for Webby Media Company of the Year on behalf of PBS is Vice President, Multi-Platform Marketing and Content, Amy Weigler. Thanks to viewers like you. Our next award goes to Jam City for Action and Adventure Game for Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery Beyond Hogwarts. Now guys, what if I told you that a real life star from the Harry Potter films was about to come out on this stage? Now what if I told you that a second Harry Potter star who looked exactly like the first Harry Potter was also going to come out here. Well, hold on to your butts. <laughs> to accept this award, please welcome the actual Weasley twins, James and Oliver Phelps. Everybody, everywhere. Playing Hogwarts Mystery. And last but certainly not least, we have Wyden and Kennedy taking home the People's Voice Award for Best Viral PR Campaign. It's for their work on Grimace's birthday party, which featured Grimace having his birthday party at McDonald's. You guys, Grimace is six feet tall. That's a lot of pee in the ball pit. <laughs> Accepting for Wyden and Kennedy is Grimace. Yeah. Purple milkshakes to die for. Didn't expect that, did you? And now it is my honor to welcome our next presenter to this stage. I want you to give it up for the president and CEO of the NAACP, Mr. Derek Johnson. <laughs> Every year, the International Academy of Digital Arts and Science, along with the NAACP, names an advocate of the year. We honor a public figure who has used their platform to serve their community and raise awareness around issues of social justice. This year's winner is the incredibly deserving Shannon Sharp. Shannon is considered one of the greatest tight ends of all time. He's won three Super Bowls and has been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's beloved for his insight, insightful sports analyst and sharp wit. His legacy is set. No one is requiring him to give back to the world, but Shannon does so because he requires himself to do so. For many years, he has inspired his millions of followers across social media to mobilize for causes like racial equity and prostate cancer awareness. Shannon has publicly shared his own journey with cancer and partnered with organizations like Talk That Talk to raise awareness around early detection. He specifically reached out to black men who are at higher risk for the disease. His candor and humor have no doubt opened minds and saved lives. 
Shannon's wildly successful podcast, Club Shay Shay, which I folded the clothes and watched Cat Williams interview that night, <laughs> which is a Webby and People's Voice winner tonight, is a platform to discuss important cultural and social topics. And all the while, he's also one of the best sports analysts in the business. To prove it, he's nabbed a, a People's Voice Award tonight for NICAP with his co-host, his co I'm going to learn how to talk one day, his <laughs> co-host, Chad Oso Cinco Johnson, I got Oso Cinco right, and Gilbert Arenas. His podcast work exemplifies Shannon's dedication to advocacy and meaningful dialogue. If you want 60 minutes, what? Dateline. What? 48 hours. Oh, come on, bro. I'm not the place for you. Now, come on now. I'm a conversationalist, not an interviewer. Every prostate cancer survivor here today, black health is black joy. And proactive prostate screening can mean better odds to address it. Don't be mad at the results you didn't get for the work you didn't put in. You're the best salesman to me in ever seen, man. <laughs> he said you've allowed other people a very safe place. Key words, safe. People have a hard time with a black woman over 200 pounds. Tell the truth. Because people that look like us, <laughs> we should just be grateful. We got invited to the party. Right. You don't have to go to Michigan to one of these yep. PWIs yep. in order to do what we're doing yeah. because we're living proof of that. What made you become so entrepreneurial? Man, I love to see black people doing good. I love to see us win. There's no amount of money enough for what I deserve. I'm priceless. We love the attention that you spend, how much work you've done, and that's why it resonates. For his profound contributions to racial equity and the fight against prostate cancer, the success of Club Shay Shay, and his use of digital media to, to affect change, it is my honor to present Shannon Sharp with the 2024 Webby for Advocate of the Year Award. All my life, all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. One slice, got to roll the dice, that's why. All my life, I've been grinding all my life, yeah. All my life, I've been grinding all my life, yeah. Sacrifice. God is great. Thank you. Thank you for thinking twice. Thanks, lovers, dreamers, and you. Tell me your story. Fight censorship. So awesome. Thank you, Webbies. Mom, we want a Webby. <gasps> First Sinead, now Steve Albini. We are very, very proud. Thank you for this bong. Please welcome the queen of the kitchen and Contessa of our hearts, the Emmy and James Beard award-winning author and host, Ina Garten. Dreyfus is a legend, and I'm not talking hyperbole, it's just the truth.
For her entire career, she has brought us insight and laughter. Like all the best comedians, her humor makes us roll with laughter, but it also makes us recognize something new. There's a specific kind of magic that belongs to Julia, and now with Wiser Than Me, we get even more of that pure Julia joy and acumen. In Wiser Than Me, Julia has created a place for conversations with other legendary women like Jane Fonda, Isabel Allende, Carol Burnett, and me. <laughs> In fact, our conversation was the start of a beautiful friendship. Like Julia herself, Wiser Than Me is the first of its kind, a podcast for wise and accomplished women to share their insights. You might cry, you will for sure laugh, and I suggest you take notes. Each episode of Wiser Than Me is uniquely bright, fun, and smart. In short, it's exactly like Julia. And fans agree, Wiser Than Me has hit number one on Apple Podcasts. That's not easy to do. Let's take a look at the best moments from Wiser Than Me, thanks to our friends at Limonada. So what I recommend is Wiser Than Me with Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Mm. That's a good one. Wiser Than Me, it's Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She's really killing it with I'm this. I'm telling you, this is one of the best to come out this year. Older women are particularly discarded, you yes. know? More I so than men, yes. No doubt. Yeah. God, you know, we just don't hear from older women. And they've lived, they have all this experience under their belt. And I wish there could be a podcast in which I, we, we could hear from older women. And then I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll do the podcast. I really do believe that older women are, an, are a natural resource, untapped, very untapped. You mean we could run, use them for energy? <laughs> yes, exactly. That is what I mean. You could put them on a bike and make them bike, and then it can yes. create energy. You know, give me tips from the front lines of life, which is where you are. Tell me what I should know. What do you wish you had known now that you know it? It's, it's made me feel even happier about getting older. There's a lot of stuff that you can let go of. I think that as I've gotten older, I've definitely become, I think I'm a little more relaxed about beauty and stuff like that. I think I'm a little more relaxed about it, she says, in full hair and makeup in front of a camera crew. I think that these women are at a point in their lives where they're just gonna tell the truth. These women are really happy to impart what they know. I think they're happy to tell, you know? And we'd be fools not to listen. her wisdom and accomplishments and for connecting generations of women through the laughter and conversation. It is my privilege and honor to, to give Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Lemonada's Wiser Than Me with the 2024 Webby for Podcast of the Year. <laughs> Listen to old women motherfuckers. She said a curse word. Dreyfus and Shannon Sharp of Club Shay Shay have two of the most successful podcasts right now. As of this year, there are over three million podcasts available in the United States, and I am excited to be celebrating them. She was excited to be celebrating them. Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm making a podcast. <laughs> right now? Yes. Well, I'm in the middle of hosting a show. Yeah, it's, it's okay, I'll be quiet. Okay, fine. Uh, folks, I am honored to be here tonight. She was honored to be there tonight. And I can't wait to tell you. And she couldn't wait to tell them. What is next? What was next? Oh, sorry, what kind of podcast is this? Uh, it's a true crime podcast. <laughs> what is the crime? Well, it hasn't happened yet. It, it's a really popular format and all the good crimes have been taken. So I figured my only chance to have a hit true crime podcast was to follow someone around and hope they get murdered. You're 
hoping I get murdered? I can't believe this. She couldn't believe this. Ugh, stop that. Stop that, she said. Stop that or I'm gonna make you stop. I started to wonder if I was the one who was gonna get murdered. Look, uh, lady, I don't know who you are. Look, this case involved hidden identities. But this is crazy. And mental health issues. You know you don't have to do this to have a podcast, right? I don't? No. Not every hit podcast involves a murder. You could make a comedy podcast. I'm not funny. Or make one like Kara Swisher. I don't have any sunglasses. <laughs> well, the winners in podcast categories cover a wide range of genres. Everything from entertainment to parenting, from history to science. Just choose something you like and get started. That's really good advice. She was so kind and thoughtful. I was really gonna miss this lady when she got murdered. Get out of here! All right. All right. Shout out to our sponsor, Underwear for Dogs. <laughs> Guys, that is the first half of our show, so go eat your dinner. Ina Gardner has been in the back kitchen working all day on it. Enjoy, we'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, people, forks down and hands together for your host, Amber Ruffin. Each year at the Webby's, we get a chance to celebrate groundbreaking new technologies and platforms that are reshaping the way we go about our daily lives. And I'm here for it. Whether it's a Gen AI app that rethinks the way we write and compose lyrics like TextFX or an entire yeah, fuck yeah. Or an entire Roblox version of the Met that jams two million square feet of museum space into an educational video game? I just want to try it all. Yeah, I'm serious. I genuinely cannot think of a single new app or AI platform or tech device that I don't want to try the moment it comes out. Well, actually, I guess that's not entirely true. There is one exception to that rule. Uh, how can I put it best? Oh wait, I know. As rock and roll superstar, Meatloaf. And I would do anything for tech. I would download any type of app. I would do anything for tech. I'd use AI and that's a fact. But I'll never forget the way you look right now. Oh, no. No way. And I would do anything for tech. But I won't wear an Apple Vision Pro in public. Bro in public. No, I won't do that. Our 
Our next presenter is a comedian and actor you know from movies like I Love My Dad and Get Out. Please welcome to the stage Lil Rel Howery. You know, so y'all can do better than that. Get Amber some love one more time, everybody. He's killing it tonight. All right, Gerard Carmichael is truly an artist of the digital age. I've known him for a long time. Matter of fact, we played brothers on his hit show, The Carmichael Show. Gerard is a comics comic. He's funny as hell and is always trying to perfect his craft. Now, he also pushes the boundaries of the mediums he uses to create. And on his show that he has on HBO and Max, uh, the Gerard Carmichael reality show, he presents a singular and intimate portrait of his life showcasing his family, his sexuality, his relationships, his sexuality, and himself. <laughs> and like his groundbreaking 2022 special, Rothaniel, the show has allowed a global audience to connect with Gerard's distinctive voice sparking meaningful cultural discussions of emotional vulnerability, accountability, and the deeply personal process of coming out. Now look, I've known Gerard for a long time, and I'm very proud of him. And I felt a certain way that he didn't have me on the show until I watched the show, and I'm very glad he didn't have me on the show. <laughs> Check out this video. Um, you know, there's one theory that, uh, gay boys aren't born that way, that they, you know, it's like through a lot of like affection for the women in their lives that like kind of breeds the habit. And so maybe Wait I'm gay because I love you so much. I don't, you believe that? I do love you a lot. No, no, no. I love you so much, I will suck a man's dick. Why would you say, don't say that. So much don't. I love you. No, I'm telling you, I'm just saying how much I love you. I love you so much that I'm gonna have sex with my boyfriend no, tonight. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, come no, on. No, I love no, you. No. <laughs> now, for his engaging and hilarious storytelling in the Gerard Carmichael reality show, and his role in shaping online and offline culture, I am proud to present my brother, my friend, Gerard Carmichael, with the 2024 Webby Award for Outstanding Comedic Performance. Give it up for Gerard Carmichael, everybody. <laughs> Risk everything, every time. Thanks. Right now, I'd like to welcome to the stage supermodel, advocate, entrepreneur, and founder of the Coco Rocha Model Camp, Coco Rocha. I can't move my arms. I realized after trying to get some drinks in my mouth. Um, you might have some assumptions about our next honoree, and I promise you Madison Devlin would quickly and joyfully smash them all. It's kind of her thing. She's an award-winning host, creator, model, she might take my job one day, actor, and advocate. And as of tonight, she's also a three-time Webby winner. Madison is taking home a People's Voice Webby in Social for Best Creator and a Webby Award and People's Voice Award for Best Influencer. <laughs> Madison's first went viral years ago. I make her sound like she's really old, but she's not. For her YouTube rendition of John Lennon, all, sorry, all of me. <clears throat> Since then, she's landed roles in film, and I'm not even kidding you, I've watched her movie over and over on every flight, television, and hosted her CBC talk show, Who Do You Think I Am?, throughout her rise to the top. Madison has amazed a devoted social media following of fans who adore her wit, 
unapologetic advocacy, and of course, her pro-party girls tips. I had the pleasure of training Madison for four days at my camp last year, and I can tell you, she's my favorite. Don't tell the rest of the 5,000 models. And I'm so proud of this special student. Madison's most recent viral work was the Assume I Can, and I hope you see this campaign. In it, Madison challenges all the negative limiting perceptions held of people with Down syndrome and spreads awareness with her signature humor and flair. Hey, bartender. You assume that I cannot drink a margarita, so you don't serve me a margarita? So I don't drink a margarita. Your assumption becomes reality. And parents. You assume that I cannot live on my own, so you don't encourage me to live on my own. So I don't live on my own. Coach, you assume that I cannot hit harder, so you don't train me to hit harder, so I don't hit harder. And teacher, you assume that I cannot learn Shakespeare, so you don't teach me Shakespeare. Old MacDonald had a farm. So I don't learn Shakespeare. E-I-E-I-O. But hey, if all your assumptions become reality, then assume that I can drink a margarita. Will you serve me a margarita? So I drink a margarita. I assume that I can live on my own. So I live on my own. I assume that I can hit harder. So I hit harder. I assume that I can learn Shakespeare. So, what fool would these mortals be? I learned fucking Shakespeare. You assume I can swear, right? I assume that I can do that job. That I can go to parties. That I can have sex. That I can be on stage. I assume that I can. So maybe I will. For her, sa for her savvy use of social media to entertain, educate, and advocate even everyone in this room right now. I'm thrilled to present Madison Tevlin with the Webby Award for Best Influencer. Girl, come here, come here. There we go. It's fun proving people wrong. Girl's gonna get them photos. <laughs> All right, everybody, now it's time to hear from the woman who makes this evening possible. Please give it up for the president of the Webby Awards, Claire Graves. <laughs> Welcome to the 28th Annual Webby Awards. I want to offer a huge congratulations to all our winners tonight. I also want to thank our sponsors and partners for your support, our Academy and KPMG for judging and tabulating the very best of the internet. Preparing for this year's show, I was struck by how much has changed since last year. This time last year, TikTok and the federal government were still on speaking terms. So were Drake and Kendrick Lamar. The internet is evolving and the pace of change is accelerating. We aren't walking into the future, we're leaping. In times of change, we turn to our leaders for guidance and this room is full of those crucial voices. We're especially lucky to have so many exemplary women in the room tonight. We just saw Madison Tevlin is here for kicking ass and breaking down false stereotypes about people with disabilities. <laughs> Laverne Cox is here for highlighting the issues faced by trans and queer communities. 
With her podcast, Wiser Than Me, Julia Louis-Dreyfus reminds us that there is so much to be learned from the wisdom of all women. And who have we learned more from than our Lifetime Achievement winner, Kara Swisher? Whose reporting and insight continues to be essential to comprehend these evolving times. Seven years ago, the leaders of the Women's March stood here on this stage and accepted the award for Social Movement of the Year. I think about their five-word speech often. Women, look what we did. It was a moment of joy, of hope, a thrill to be in this room. I'm inspired by what we've done, and looking around this room, I'm energized about what we're going to do. And let's be honest, we have a fight on our hands. There's an assault on women's reproductive rights all over this country. Fortunately, there are women and men standing up to fight back. And in a moment, we're going to honor one of the most important groups of women fighting for those rights. On behalf of everybody at the Webby Awards, I am so proud to congratulate all of you tonight. And I'm really pleased to welcome our next presenter to the stage. She's an author, attorney, a tireless advocate for women, for the rights of women and girls. Let's hear it for the CEO of Phenomenal Media, Mina Harris. <laughs> Since Roe v. Wade was overturned in 2022, 21 states have banned or seriously restricted access to legal, safe abortions. Three more bans are being litigated in courts as we speak. Just last week, a Louisiana State Legislative Committee blocked a bill that would have allowed abortions in the, cape of ra in the case of rape or incest. The disastrous effects of these horrifying, outrageous bans are playing out in communities all across the country, particularly for low-income women and women of color. The film Plan C documents the way one group is fighting back. It chronicles the efforts of Francine Coiteau, the co-founder of the abortion rights group Plan C, as she and her team work to normalize the option of abortion pills by mail. The film reveals the grassroots network and pipelines Plan C has built, the criticism they faced, and the hope they have for the future. The Plan C film highlights the, the determination of these activists and the dangers they face, and it asks all of us, what are we willing to do to protect the basic rights of women across the country? I wouldn't lie to you, they got a pill that you can take after you get pregnant and it will automatically abort the child. At the beginning it was just trying to make clear that these pills existed, that they were safe, they were effective. Abortion pills are available by mail, it's a thing. And of course people said, you can't do that, that's illegal. There is no longer a federal constitutional right to an abortion. If I can't get an abortion, I'm gonna kill myself. And then she hunks up the phone. We all went to the post office just now to drop something off. Sounds like candy and or beads. Go to this website, send money through this portal. My brain went, just go buy black market abortion pills. Mobilizing is really hard when you're scared and you're censored. I get frustrated by everybody trying to follow the rules instead of what really needs to be done. I'm not going to be stopped or hindered by the law one way or the other. It's like we're running a drug cartel in order to help people. A lot of our work is in letting people know that the supplies that we send, they could get arrested for them. And when you hold those packages, Feels like a revolution. I am so pleased to present Francine Coiteau, the co-founder of Plan C Pills, and Tracy 
Draws Tragos, the director of the Plan C movie, with the Webby Award for Public Service, Social Impact, and Activism in Social. <laughs> feels like a revolution. <laughs> Available in all 50 states. Welcome back, Jenny Hagel. bunch more winners? Great, here we go. <laughs> First up is Moonlight Sonata, tonight's winner for best individual performance in a video. It's a heartwarming clip of an old man playing the piano, and it's the only video on the internet that doesn't involve bullying or nudity. <laughs> Accepting the Webby from Tamir Music is Tamar Springer. Dad, More than Santa Baby. I have a question for our next winner. You guys call them tiny desk concerts? But all the desks look normal size to me. What's up with that? I think that's false advertising. You guys can explain it at the after party. For now, let's hear it for NPR Tiny Desk Concerts, winner of the Webby and People's Voice Award for music and video series and channels. Accepting is host and series producer, Bobby Carter. Thanks for watching Tiny Desks. Next up is our People's Voice winner for health, wellness, and fitness and apps and software, Better Me. Better Me, which was founded in Ukraine, helps you sleep, meditate, and exercise. All the things I mean to do, but never do. Please welcome Better Me CEO and founder, Victoria Repa. Change what happens inside you. Red Bull can help you do a lot of incredible things. Pull an all-nighter, stay awake on a road trip, or stay at the club three hours past the time you turned to your friend and said, we should go. <laughs> it can also help you win a Webby for their insanely cool video, Red Bull Pedro Caldas de Ferias, Come Awake. Let's hear it for our People's Voice Award winners in branded video in sports, the Abdallah Brothers. Okay, we only have we only have five words for this, so we'll do it in Portuguese. Aqui é Brasil. Obrigado, Deus. You, you. Thanks, guys. Our next winner is animator Java Doodles. Incidentally, Java Doodles is also the most popular baby name in Brooklyn. Java Doodles is our Webby and People's Voice winner for arts and entertainment in short form social video for their hilarious, charming short, throw, out, throw It Out the Window. Here to accept our animator Java Doodles and co-star Spencer Ortega. Wemby Awards, out the window. Our 
Our next winner is the Patronus Integrated Report by Fisherman Integrated. It won the People's Voice Award for Best Use of Video or Moving Image in Websites and Mobile Sites. But the real news is that these are our first winners to hail from Malaysia. They're fresh off a flight from a part of the world where it's already tomorrow, which technically makes them time travelers. Please welcome the creative team from Fisherman Integrated. Love from Malaysia to NYC! Our next winners, Media Monks, are no strangers to the Webby stage. They have more wins, nominations, and honors than any other production company this year. They are the Katie Ledecky of the Webbies, the Caitlin Clark of Digital Media, the Chris Jenner of Creating Buzz, and for the fourth year in a row, they are the Webby Production Company of the Year. Accepting is the co-founder of Media Monks, Wesley Turhar. Americans call this a dynasty. Another big one coming up here, people. We've got Dept winners tonight again. This time for Webby Network of the Year. Dept won 11 awards this year, racked up three nominations and eight honorees with standout campaigns like Bang and Olufsen, See Yourself in Sound, Virgin Galactic, Give a Hand, and Trainline. Give it up for Global Marketing Manager Veronica Solomon and Senior Producer Dave Lucas. Three down, forever to go. Friends, I love podcasts. I listen to them in the car. I listen to them in the tub. I'm listening to one right now. The husband did it. <laughs> iHeartMedia is this year's winner for Webby Podcast Company of the Year. Let's hear it for Chief Operating Officer, iHeart Podcast, Carrie Lieberman. We heart you too. Thank you. And finally, we have the People's Voice Award winner for Sports Podcast. Give it up for the host of Nightcap, the great Chad Ochocinco Johnson. We fucking love you guys. Hear from some more winners. Five words. What the fuck? Netflix is a joke. <clears throat> Maybe. Philomathic. Conjubilant. Scriptorian. Breviloquent. Grateful. Website. 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 Impossible is actually I'm possible. More than I hoped for. <laughs> This award eclipses all others. For Black History's Unsung Heroes. It's just life. Don't panic. Cooking show, pretend. Gratitude, real. Everyone, say, say thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. 
Actually, we're all one degree. Send that over to him. Like every year, the Webbies would like to honor those concepts, products, and personalities that have either become obsolete, uncool, or just plain got on our nerves with a very special Webbies in memoriam. We would like to say goodbye to the Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> Tesla Cybertruck, you sure did have a great personality. Apple Vision Pro, we sure are going to miss you. You died off faster than a fully charged Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> Truth Social, hey, Truth Social, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it's hilarious that it's over. Ah, uh, Drake. Drake. We hardly knew ye until Kendrick told us way more than we ever wanted to know. NFTs. We will never forget you because we never actually knew what NFT stood for in the first place. NYPD robot dogs. Don't think of them as dying. Just think of them as going to work on a nice high security prison farm upstate. Last but not least, we don't want to say goodbye, but soon we may be bidding farewell to TikTok. TikTok, you scrolled too close to the doom. Goodbye, TikTok. Look on the bright side. Killing you was literally the only thing Congress did this year. This has been In Memoriam. Please welcome to the Webby stage, editor-in-chief of The Verge and co-host of the Webby-winning podcast, Decoder and The Vergecast, Nilay Patel. All right. Got some big nerds out there. I heard those cheers. You're my people and I love you. They brought me out here because this is the real nerd stuff. Uh, I promised this next presenter that I would present this award absolutely hammered. Just like I am when I post on their app, we have the team from Threads Web taking home a People's Voice Award for Best Mobile User Interface in Websites and Mobile Sites and a People's Voice Award for Best Responsive Adaptive Design in Websites and Mobile Sites, accepting both is Director of Product Management, Tom Bender. Go to threads.net, not threads.com. <laughs> good. Notably, Tom accepted that word in real time, not six hours from now. Tom's sitting at my table. I have a lot of feedback for him. Next, we're welcoming the folks who have made reading movie reviews as fun as watching the movies themselves. It's Letterboxd, a people's voice winner for entertainment app. Collecting the People's Voice Award is Head of Business, David Larkin. Scream, laugh, cry, inspire, movies. Okay, the prompter says this is gonna be a fun one, uh, but it won't about half of you are gonna throw your phones out the window. Addictive daily winner genius. Did you get it? Those are four words that describe the New York Times Connections game. A People's Voice Award winner tonight for puzzles in the category games. Accepting the award is someone who is much better at this than I am. Associate puzzle editor, Winna Lou. <laughs> Happy 
you like our game. Okay, guys, it's time to get political. Relax, it's fun politics. Please welcome Amanda Littman, the co-founder and co-executive director of Run For Something. Our government is, in theory, of the people, by the people, and for the people. But too often, it can feel like government is really far removed from us, the people. This summer, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and her team brought humanity and humor back to the business of governing with her viral series of Governor Barbie social videos. Seizing, yeah. <laughs> Seizing on the massive success of the Barbie film and its electrifying message of female empowerment, Governor Whitmer and her team created a series of videos featuring a pink pantsuited little Gretch, AKA Governor Barbie, accessorized with a perfect Michigan necklace. Little Gretch gave speeches, she signed Barbie-sized legislation, and she communicated actual talking points in a viral, accessible way. Governor Barbie was, first of all, really fun, and by brilliantly tapping into a massive pop culture moment via social media, Governor Whitmer engaged the voters in her state and beyond. Barbie can do it all, and it turns out so can smart women in high places. Come on, Barbie, let's go govern. Governor Gretchen Whitmer getting into the spirit the day before the Barbie movie is released. The governor tweeting pictures from the Capitol saying, this Barbie is the 49th governor of the great state of Michigan. My mother's favorite color was fuchsia, and she was a lawyer at the attorney general's office. And one of her colleagues said, Sherry, you can't wear pink to court. And my mother said, fuchsia is my power color. During my re-election, there were a lot of polls and people writing my political obituary, and I won by almost 11 points. Every Michigander deserves a classic Michigan story. You work hard, follow your dreams, and build a great life. When you get knocked down, you get up again. Our task is clear. Focus on the fundamentals work together and get things done. For her timely and flat out funny use of social media to connect with her constituents, it is my privilege to welcome to the stage Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, accepting the Webby for public service and activism. <laughs> Wear pink, get shit done. <laughs> Guys, our next presenter needs a drink. Last week, this woman had to wake up, get dressed, sit in a courtroom, and with a straight face, listen to testimony about someone having sex with Donald Trump. What is the journalism equivalent of a Purple Heart? Because she deserves it. Please give it up for Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, Maggie Haberman. Good evening. Tara Swisher, who is a very dear friend of mine, doesn't miss words, so neither will I. She's a bold and brilliant woman with an incredible mind an unmatched eye for BS, and very, very good tweets. She's also a very good friend. She uh, has incredible insight, and her tenacity has shaped the industry for nearly 30 years. She is a fearless reporter, as well as a pioneering digital entrepreneur in her own right. She's very, very funny, but I think you all know that. In short, Kara gets it. She has sat down with the most influential figures in technology and media, making space for their most valuable insights and reflections. She relentlessly speaks truth to power. She navigates complex issues with unparalleled clarity and humor. Her distinct style and appeal have gained her respect from industry leaders and built her a massive fan base of listeners and readers worldwide. 
Her podcast, On with, On with Kara Swisher and Pivot, are required listening. Her recent memoir, Burn Book, A Tech Love Story, is a New York Times bestseller. She has founded digital media companies and conferences using her keen journalistic talents and astonishing business acumen. Through all of this work, Swisher is dedicated to uplifting a diverse range of voices, issues, and opinions, ensuring that representation is core to everything she does. Kara's impact begins in tech, but reaches well beyond, into our politics, our economy, and most importantly, our sense of what is possible. Kara is smart, opinionated, but most important thing is you can trust her. And somebody who really holds people's feet to the fire uh, when they're telling their story. And that is what I think Kara does more than anything, is she tells our story. She will speak truth to power. Frankly, she'll call out bullshit as needed. So when she asks questions, when she probes, she asks the right questions, gets the right answers, and ultimately passes the knowledge that she has onto others. But she's had this eternal optimism about the positive role technology can play in people's lives. And she's like three steps ahead of everybody all the time, and she's that way because she is so enmeshed in it. People ask me what it's like to work with Kara Swisher, and I always give the same answer. It is one of the greatest joys of my career. You've made all of your readers, all of your audience, all of your listeners, all of your viewers smarter, more informed, and more empowered because of your amazing work. I just wanted to thank you for everything that you have done for our industry and everything that you do. You hold us to such a high uh, standard. Congratulations on this um, award. I think it's nice. Uh, it's good they're giving it to you now because you are getting really old. There's not much time, so thank you to the Academy. I value and cherish you as a friend, and I'm grateful for you and respect the fuck out of you for the voice that you have in the world, how important and needed it is. I can't say enough about Kara, but I'll just leave it at this. She is the queen of all media. Kara will serve as an inspiration for generations of journalists and tech entrepreneurs across the globe. Her influence on our understanding of the impact of technology on our world is immeasurable. For all those reasons and more, it is my great privilege to present and get some sleep later, Kara Swisher with the 2024 Webby Lifetime Achievement Award. I ain't done, tech bros. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's me, your host, Amber Ruffin, and I'd like to formally apologize for everything I said about the Apple Vision Pro and that Meatloaf song I covered earlier. Man! I had the opportunity to try out a Vision Pro and I've been fully converted. Uh, I decided I'm gonna wear this thing forever and spend the rest of my life in the metaverse. Uh, peace out. I don't wanna return to the real world and more importantly, I can't. <laughs> I've completely forgotten how to live without my Apple Vision Pro. But anyway, that's our show. Thanks so much for coming to the Webbies and congratulations again on all of your wins.